Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm Dr. Chris Burke, and I'm wanting to send out a welcome message to uh, everybody enrolled in my Computer Science One course this fall. That's CSCE 155E. I just wanted to give you a short introduction and welcome message. We have one full week before classes start, uh, but I, you know, I just wanted to introduce myself and remind you about uh, the format of the course. Uh, so uh, the lecture is on Mondays and Wednesdays from 5 p.m. to 6.15 p.m. Uh, that's in Henslick Hall 124. It's a very large lecture hall, able to seat about 285 people or thereabouts. Uh, and 150 or so are enrolled in the in-person section. So there is room to spread out and, and the social distance to a point. Uh, it, it is, of course, in person. Uh, you are uh, encouraged to attend in, per, uh, in person uh, under proper conditions that we'll talk about in a second here. Uh, but in addition to that, I'll be live streaming like I am right now this video welcome message. Uh, and there will be a live Q&A feature uh, on Piazza, our online discussion forum. Uh, the recordings of those lectures will be made, avail made available immediately afterwards uh, right here on YouTube on the, chan on the same channel. Uh, and of course, there will be a playlist uh, provided on Canvas. Uh, in addition to the lecture, you of course have a lab and a hack session. The lab sessions are weekly on Tuesdays and the hack sessions are weekly on Thursdays. Uh, please go to the one that you signed up for. If you're on the online section, of course, you can attend online uh, throughout the day. Uh, and office hours. Office hours will be held in Avery 15. Uh, we have about uh, almost uh, 15 or so learning assistants uh, and my office hours as well uh, that will be uh, down there in uh, Avery 15 for the most part for in-person office hours. But at the same time, we'll be online uh, with Zoom uh, if you want to attend office hours online or if you just have a question. Uh, I wanted to walk you through a typical week that you'll, that you'll be experiencing in this course. Uh, on Mondays, you will have graded readings due. Uh, this is through the online textbook called Zybooks, which you can purchase at the Nebraska Bookstore, uh, which I encourage you to do as soon as possible. If you go to the Nebraska Bookstore, just search around for it, uh, uh, bkstr.com slash Nebraska Lincoln Store, uh, Nebraska hyphen Lincoln Store home. Uh, you'll be able to search for it uh, using, uh, uh, using a, a search feature, or you can just enter your NUID. Uh, once you've got an access code to that, of course, it's still all 100% online. There's no physical textbook. You'll just get an access code and then you can go through Canvas uh, and uh, start reading uh, online through Canvas. It's an interactive textbook, uh, meaning that you'll, uh, you'll read some chunks. It'll have some code there. You'll complete some coding exercises and submit them. You can uh, answer some multiple choice questions or something like that. Uh, and that's how you'll get uh, credit for it. Those are due on Monday by 5 p.m. on an almost weekly basis. Of course, not this coming Monday uh, because we haven't started classes yet. On Tuesdays, you'll have lab, lab exercises. And so in, and typically in lab, what you'll do is you will be paired up randomly with another student. Uh, you'll have a driver a navigator situation that we'll explain in lab. Uh, and on, on Monday, when we, I go through the course in more detail, uh, but those are gonna be due at midnight. So you don't have to, they're designed to be completed within the lab time, the one hour and 15 minutes or so that you have in lab. Uh, but if you need more time or you, you know, you, you, you've got something else in your schedule, you do have until midnight to submit those solutions. On Thursdays, uh, you have your hack sessions, which is basically another lab, but designed to get you started on your weekly assignments. Uh, those assignments are not, are not designed to be done in an hour and 15 minutes. And that's why you have until the following Monday at midnight to submit those solutions. Uh, so the bulk of your grading will be based on readings, labs, and hacks. Uh, there are a couple of exams and a project at the end of the course, uh, but we'll talk about those later. Uh, again, in-person attendance is not required. Uh, you are able, to, uh, if you, unless you're, uh, if you're in the online section, of course, you'll attend online. Uh, but if you're in the in-person section, you are uh, welcome to, to come to Henslick to uh, in-person lab sessions, in-person hack sessions. Uh, there are some alternatives, of course. Again, I mentioned the online section. And of course, you can attend the remote sessions uh, via YouTube here or, or asynchronously. You can always use uh, Zoom as uh, your lab section and ha hack session if you need it. If you do ch plan to attend in person uh, and are unvaccinated, if you're not fully vaccinated, then you will need to wear a face mask and you will need to wear it properly over the nose and over the mouth. 
Uh, if you are fully vaccinated, then face uh, coverings are optional, but they are still strongly recommended because of what we've been seeing in the data. Uh, only about 52.5% of Douglas County uh, folks your, in your age group, uh, the typical age group of uh, fr incoming freshmen, uh, are va fully vaccinated. In Lancaster, it's even lower, 43.8%. Uh, uh, outside those two counties, we don't even have data anymore, uh, but I can imagine that it's even lower than that. Uh, vaccines are highly effective, uh, all of them, uh, and they are they are backed by sound science. Uh, they help you pr to not only uh, uh, prevent the, getting uh, the virus, but even if you do get the virus, uh, you'll, the, the, your symptoms will be a lot less. Uh, and they will help you, uh, masks in addition will help you prevent uh, spreading the virus around. So out of respect for all UNL faculty and staff, uh, out of respect for the learning assistants that you'll be interacting with uh, on a weekly basis in labs and hack sessions and in, uh, during office hours, uh, as well as your fellow students that you'll be sitting next to in those uh, in-person sections, and all of their family members, especially the ones who may not be able to be vaccinated yet because they're, less, uh, they're, they're too young uh, or they have pre-existing conditions. And of course, out of respect for yourself, uh, make sure that you're getting the vaccine as soon as you can. Uh, UNL is offering several opportunities to do so. All of these are free. Uh, there is a walk-up clinic starting yesterday uh, and running through the 19th. Uh, all you have to do is go up to the De uh, Devaney Center and get vaccinated. Uh, they are open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, the 15th through the 19th. Uh, there will be walk-up clinics later on this month outside the City Union and the East Campus Union, uh, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on August 25th and 26th. Uh, in addition, you can always go to the University Health Center and do a walk-up vaccination. No prior uh, uh, appointment is necessary uh, during regular clinic hours starting as of today. Uh, so make sure that you're doing that if you're not fully vaccinated already. Uh, how to get started with this course? Again, we've got a week left. Uh, you don't have to do anything yet uh, until we, we start uh, one week from today. But if you're chomping at the bit and you want something to do, uh, there, you, you know, you're, you're, you're nervous about getting started, that's perfectly normal. Uh, you, what you can do is first get that textbook. It's at the university bookstore. It's only $58. You get a code and then you can start doing some of your reading if you want to. Uh, again, don't go to their website. Don't go and pay through a credit card. Make sure that you're going through the university bookstore and make sure that you're going through Canvas on that. Uh, so what else can you do to get started? You can start on the first assignment. Don't worry, it doesn't contain any actual content. It's just a, a series of three surveys that you can complete uh, for uh, credit. I think I think we assigned 2% of your final grade on it. Uh, you'll have to do it anyway. It's due in two weeks, but you might as well get it out of the way right now. Uh, and it, it, they're, again, no prior knowledge is necessary. You're not graded on correctness. You're graded on whether or not it gets done. Uh, they're just surveys to find out what the uh, what, what your prior knowledge may be, what your prior and comfort level might be. Uh, if you want to get started in the actual coursework, you can start by watching videos 1.1 through 1.3. These are basically lab one and hack one walkthroughs. So you could have those done before the class even starts if you really want to. Uh, it shows you how to get set up in the environment, how to start programming in C, uh, using that environment, uh, how to use Git, uh, and uh, signing up for Git, and a couple of other things. Uh, how to submit your assignments basically for this course. It walks you through submitting your code for this course, and then it walks you through the grading process. Uh, generally, you can submit and resubmit as many times as you want up until the due date to get it perfect. Uh, of course, you got your first reading assignment, which is not too bad. It's, it'll probably only take you an hour or so to, to get started on that. And it also makes sure that you've got the book and you're ready to go and gets into that groove so that you can uh, do, the, uh, do the reading, the labs, and the hacks on a weekly basis. All right. So if you have any questions, I will be posting this later on to Piazza. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Have an excellent rest of your week. And I will uh, I look forward to working with you this semester.